Hi, I'm Mark Critch with your Allegations Forecast. It was a stormy week in Canadian politics. Let's have a look at the map. If you're wondering when the Me Too movement was going to hit Canadian politics, the answer was just last week when the political weather front was pushed up from the states when hot air streams Roy Moore and Al Franken hit Category 5 blowhard Donald Trump, creating a massive movement that followed the coastline off the eastern seaboard, eventually making landfall in Nova Scotia, where Jamie Bailey was forced to step down after allegations that the Nova Scotia PC leader did some very non-PC things. Then the storm moved west, hitting Ontario, where PC leader Patrick Brown was accused of sexual assault. What? This guy creepy? No! <laughs> One of the allegations came from a woman who was in high school at the time, which I don't think is what anyone meant when they said they wanted more young people to get involved in politics. <laughs> Brown met the young woman on a flight and then tracked her down on Facebook, messaging her with, Are you impressed I remembered your name? Then told her he could help her get into bars. Allegedly. He also offered another young woman a trip to India, telling her she'd look good on an elephant, which is the second creepiest pickup line ever, coming close on the heels of, I found you on Facebook, are you impressed? <laughs> no word yet who's going to replace Brown as leader, but I hear the PCs are looking for someone who has Brown's best quality, not being Kathleen Wynne. <laughs> the storm then continued west, hitting Calgary, when federal sport and disabilities minister Kent Hare was accused of harassment. The allegations against Kent Hare were posted on social media this morning. By the end of the day, he was no longer a cabinet minister. Hare is accused of telling a co-worker that she looked yummy in an elevator 10 years ago, which might not seem all that shocking, but we see this clip from a month ago when a CBC reporter asked Hare about another allegation. There's an allegation that you may have inappropriately touched one of the women who was in that meeting. Did you touch anyone during that meeting? We can see that this storm has been brewing for quite some time now. Politicians were dropping like flies last week, mostly because they were dropping their flies. But as we continue westward, we can see that just this past weekend, the storm was downgraded to a topical storm over Vancouver, where three former Green Party staffers accused leader Elizabeth May of workplace bullying, including raising her voice and slamming a door, or what staffers who worked for Stephen Harper would call heaven. <laughs> I guess when it comes to Elizabeth May, like that other famous green, the Incredible Hulk, you wouldn't like her when she's angry. That storm is expected to blow over by the end of the week when something worse will probably happen. So if you're in political office, prepare yourself. The wind is changing. A storm is coming, and it's going to completely redefine the political landscape. So check your social media feeds, get your house in order, but more importantly, take a good, hard look at yourself in the mirror. Because the best way to avoid a storm like this is not to start one. Thanks for sticking around. There's more laughs here, and you can subscribe for all new 22-minute sketches every day throughout the season. Every day, we could be like Paul and Linda McCartney and never be apart. <laughs>